The San Diego Democratic chair, Will Rodriguez Kennedy, who had tested positive for COVID-19, has been released from the hospital. News 8's Teresa Sardina reports from the VA Medical Center in La Jolla with more on his experience and his recovery. Good evening, Barbara Lee. Will Rodriguez Kennedy was released from the hospital yesterday, but he was unable to go home due to his doctor's orders. Uh, it was it was it was a pretty bad fever. Um, there was like pretty excruciating um, body aches. Marine veteran and chair of the San Diego Democratic Party, Will Rodriguez Kennedy, thought he was coming down with the flu. He had the chills, sweats, nausea, and vomiting. He first started experiencing symptoms March 14th. Defeating symptoms after a few days, he then had trouble breathing. He called the VA Medical Center in La Jolla first, as ordered, expressed his symptoms, and had to go in immediately. And they ordered a CT scan. Um, and I think from that CT scan, they, the, they were able to, to clearly identify that I needed to be hospitalized. Um, and then I was there for six days. Testing positive for COVID-19. After being in the ICU for six days, he didn't have symptoms. Levels were under control and not likely to be infectious. The veteran was released but unable to go home. He lives in a small space and can't isolate. Plus, he needs to take extra safety precautions in case the virus is still present. They put me in a hotel in order to um, continue quarantine for at least a week. While talking about his recovery and experience, he did express concerns by medical professionals. About the, the, ability, the access to uh, personal protective equipment is they have to put on this like gown and like this face mask and, and there's a significant concern that they will not have that. Rodriguez Kennedy was living his life as usual, working and taking part in social groups, and says he did not travel recently. He urges the community to keep following public health and social distancing orders. As of yesterday, he has been staying in a hotel room. He was sent home with oxygen to assist with his breathing. He tells News 8 he is feeling alone, tired, and exhausted throughout his recovery. He's urging the community to take this seriously and practice social distancing. Back to you. Thank you, Teresa.